Hi everyone, welcome to day two of Interesting Point of View. So today I want to talk about allowance. So the whole point of being Interesting Point of View, doing Interesting Point of View is to get to the space of allowance. Um, so allowance is where instead of aligning and agreeing or resisting and reacting, everything is just an interesting point of view. So if you never aligned and agreed with anything or you never resisted and reacted, you would actually have total allowance. And in the foundation class, they talk about allowance. Um, allowance is one of the 10 keys to freedom. You learn about it first in the foundation class. Um, and it's where you're like the rock in the stream. Um, and so the water comes and you're the rock. The water comes, think about it, the, say the water, the points of views, they come through and they wash through you and then they go on. So it's like, do you receive people's points of views or do you align and agree with them, make them right, or resist and react to them, make them wrong? The minute you align and agree with people's points of views or you resist and react to them, you have implanted yourself with that point of view. So if you were the rock in the stream and the points of views are coming at you like they are every day, including your own points of views about you, do you align and agree? Do you resist and react? Or do you receive the points of views? Because if you don't align and agree or you don't resist and react, you do receive them. So do you receive them and then allow them come through and allow them out? See, the minute you align and agree, you resist and react, you solidify the points of views into your body and into your reality. And then you're creating your life, your reality from somebody else's points of views. They were never even yours to begin with. Think about babies when they're first born. Do they align and agree with people's points of views or resist and react or do they just receive them? Because they have total receiving in their world. So what would it be like to actually receive people's points of views without aligning and agreeing or resisting or reacting? Then you don't become at the effect of people's points of views, including your own. What if you actually could receive your points of views as interesting points of views? not align and agree, not resist and react. So you didn't solidify your judgments of you into your reality and your body. So how many points of views have you been aligning and agreeing with and resisting and reacting to that you have solidified into your body and created as your reality? Everything that is and everything that doesn't allow you to become aware of what those points of views are now so that you can get to interesting point of view with them. Can we destroy it and create it, please? Right, round, good, bad, pod, pock, on his shirts, boys and beyonds. And one of the things I like to ask too is like, universe, show me, show me where I'm limiting me. Show me where my points of views are. Body, show me. Body, show me what my points of views are. Show me the judgments I have of me so that I can actually get present with them and change them. How do you change them? By being interesting point of view. You know, the other day I noticed I was kind of like, um, trying to like push uh, creation forward and when I looked at it I was like oh am I willing to allow am I willing to allow this creation fail and I was like no and I was like okay well what would it take so it's like you get present with what you're creating or functioning as as your point of view and my point of view was I need this to succeed like I need this to like I can't let this fail that was my point of view I can't let this fail and so when I realized that's where I was functioning from I looked at okay well what would it take to be willing to let it fail and then I was able to actually allow that energy into my world okay would I allow allow doesn't mean I'm making it fail it doesn't mean I'm setting myself up for failure it means I'm going to allow this to fail if that's what's required I'm going to allow it I'm not going to resist this energy anymore and the minute I just got to allowance with that, everything changed. I relaxed with the creation. Other people stepped in. Other people took over. So how many things do you not have allowance for in your life, in your reality, in your world, with your creations, with your body, that actually if you had allowance for would allow you to have a lot more ease? Allowance doesn't mean you're going to leave. You're going to like, allowance doesn't mean that everything's going to fail. It just allows you to have that energy in your world but if you won't even allow yourself to have that energy you have to constantly resist react and fight for the opposite energy which is the need to succeed what if you could have allowance for failing and allowance for succeeding what if neither one was right and neither one was wrong what if you could receive both energies in your world 
So what have you made so right about re succeeding and so wrong about failing that doesn't allow you to, to have total allowance to receive both energies? Whew, everything that that brings up can be destroyed and create it. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, only shorts, boys, me ends. And the thing about points of views is that they're driven on the need to be right or the need to prove wrong. So if you had no need to be right and no need to be wrong, you would actually have allowance. You would have, you would be interesting point of view. So how do you get to total allowance? So not having alignment and agreement, not having resistance and reaction takes you out of that right and wrong, that positive and negative polarity. So I just want to read a little piece from the reference material about allowance that um, is from Gary Douglas. So allowance is the source for the creation of all change. That's pretty big. Like, I'm going to read that again. So allowance is the source for the creation of all change. So anything that you don't have allowance for, you're not allowing it to change. You're actually keeping it in existence. Like for me, not having allowance, allowing, not allowing the creation, the class or creation project I was working on to fail wasn't allowed, was not that energy, having that energy where I wasn't allowing it to fail and was putting all this energy and having to make it succeed, that was not actually creating change. The minute I got to allowance of, oh, would I allow this to fail? The minute I became an allowance of that, the creation changed. So we think that we need to fight. We need to fight for the rightness. We need to fight. We need to defend the wrongness rather than having total allowance and then actually allowing it to change. So allowance is the source for the creation of all change. If we actually had allowance for what was going on in the world right now, would COVID still exist? But so many people are fighting against it and so many people are fighting for it, it keeps it in existence. If we didn't fight for peace, would and if we didn't do trauma and drama and we didn't do upset, would wars exist? It's only when we get to a space of total allowance can that change. That doesn't mean we make it right or it doesn't mean we make it wrong. And it doesn't mean that you allow yourself to be a walkover. You don't allow people, you don't, you don't allow people to abuse you, but you also don't have to resist and react and align and agree with the abuser or resist and react to abuse. If you actually got to allowance, would abuse exist? So would there be all the fighting going on in the world if we didn't have to defend our point of view? Right and wrong. So the rapidity of change is dependent upon your degree of total allowance. I don't like this steps you right back into polarity. Okay, now, how many times a day do you say, I don't like this? I don't like that. I don't like this person. I don't like that food. Oh, I don't like the way they do that. I don't like. That steps you right back into polarity. And if you can actually get clear on where you're creating polarity in your life every day, that's going to be a key to setting you free. And what if it didn't matter if other, like the thing is like allowance is for you, just for fun. Just for me, just for fun. Most people will never get to allowance. Well, what if you could still have allowance, even if everyone else was choosing polarity around you? And that may require you to actually be different. So <laughs> are you willing to be the one person in the room who doesn't align and agree and doesn't resist and react and is actually totally allowance? There's so, read that sentence again. I don't like this steps you right back into polarity. Also, I do like this is also polarity. There are certain places that seem stickier for each individual, like relationship, money, sex, bodies. Some of you, it's politics. Like I actually have total allowance for politics. I have no point of view about it. And I actually said some, said some point. I, okay, having no point of view doesn't mean, doesn't mean that you can't have points of views, by the way. You can have points of views, you just don't have to fight for and against your points of views. And that might be another video I make, because I even have an example. I actually don't fight for or against politics at all. Um, do I have points of views about certain things? Yeah, but I don't fight for the rightness of it. I sat with a table. I sat at a table with a couple of people who were fighting for the rightness of their point of view with politics. And I actually didn't have it in my world. I was just like, oh, I have some points of views. Like I have some preferences or whatever. Um, but I actually don't have a charge on it. 
I'm not trying to defend it. I'm not trying to defend any side. I just, and then, but the people at the table did have points of views and did have, they were defending the side that they decided was right. And so it's really interesting. So how many, how many of you don't actually have alignment, agreement, or resistant reaction to points of views, but may just have points of views that other people fight against? And everywhere you then try to defend your point of view that isn't even your point of view, that you don't even care to defend. Can we destroy and uncreate it, please? Right, round, good, bad, papak, only shirts, boys, in the ants. Um, and I, okay, I don't sure if I, that might have created something, but if there's questions around that, let me know and I can go a bit more into that tomorrow. Um, so there's certain areas where you're stickier for some than others. So getting clear, like I said, some people are really points of views. They have a lot of alignment and agreement and resistance and reaction when it comes to politics. Some have it when it comes to the vaccine. Some have it when it comes to money. Some have it comes to sex. Some have it when it comes to relationship. So you, with your body even. So you've got to get clear on where are those areas you're really charged on. And I spoke a bit about this yesterday as well. There's certain areas where you're like, oh, you have that resistance and reaction. You have that alignment and agreement in your world. There's other areas you're just like, oh, whatever. Like, you're just like, you have a lot more allowance. So what are the areas that you can identify for you that are stickier for you than some? My politics for me is not sticky at all because I don't really have any charge on it. Um, even the vaccine, I don't really have a charge on that. I don't really have any charge on governments. But maybe for me, I might have a charge on mental illness, addiction, like some of the things that probably touch me a bit more. So like, or maybe money or maybe playing small in the world. Like, what is it for you where you seem to, it might be family even, defending your family. Like some of you grew up in a culture that family was made really important. So like what was made really important in your world growing up? Yeah, family is definitely one for me. Family was made really important in my culture. It still is, like your family is everything. That's a big point of view in the culture I grew up in. So that is an area that can, it's not as much charge for me anymore, but can still be. So you can start to notice where you defend the rightness of that or you resist and react to it. So getting clear on your sticky areas. So then you can actually start to look at, okay, interesting point of view I have this point of view like getting to the place of allowance for the things that you try to defend or you try to align and agree with so the purpose of judgment is control if you can truly get to interesting point of view no one's judgment or anger will ever control you again you will never be at the effect so that's all points of views are. They're just judgments. And the purpose of judgment is always to control. So when people try to fight for their point of view, they're fighting for control. They're trying to control with their judgments. If you can truly get to interesting point of view, their judgments will not control you ever again. And you'll never be at the effect of other people's judgments, of other people's points of views. Points of views aren't wrong. They're not right. They're just points of views. So to sum it all up, if I can, um, what if we could actually today really play with receiving people's points of views? Because so much of our energy goes into resisting and reacting to people's points of views or aligning and agreeing. What if today we really played with, okay, if I was the rock in this dream, the points of views were coming at me, they're like water, I didn't resist and react, I didn't align and agree, and I receive the points of views and I allow them to move on. I don't solidify them. I don't make them right. I don't make them wrong. I don't try to understand them. That's not a thing. We try to understand people's points of views. We try to understand our points of views. They're just points of views. And they actually are just floating around the universe all the time, waiting for a target for you to go, yes, that's my point of view and fight for it or no, rather than, oh, these are just points of views. Like how many points of views come up around Christmas or around family? or around relationship, or you should have someone to spend Christmas with, or whatever. These are points of views that are floating around. Do you receive them? Or do you try to make them right or wrong? Or do you try to make them yours? And most people's points of views aren't even theirs either. So when we can get to receiving points of views, 
we can actually stop solidifying them in our world. So I've rambled on enough. I hope you get something from today. If you have questions from today's videos, please post them in the chat and see you tomorrow. Bye.